Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how to review your team progress using the new SharePoint dashboards and the SQL Server Reporting Services reports that come with Team Foundation Server 2010. Remember, we are using Beta 2 of Team Foundation Server 2010 and Visual Studio 2010. Okay, so uh, at different stages of your uh, software life cycle, and your product development, you will want to know which is the current state of the development, you know, how fast are we doing the, the tasks, how much tasks have we closed, okay, how much bugs have been have been found, okay, which will be very useful information for future iterations in your project. So here we will like to to see all this information using both SharePoint and reporting services, which are an integral part of Team Foundation Server 2010. So let's see how, how to do that. I will now enter Visual Studio 2010, which is not really necessary, but let's just do it for this time in order to see a nice way to connect to the project portal from Visual Studio. Now that we are here, I just logged in as, as the developer and I will right click in the team project and click on Show Project Portal. Okay, this will ask me again for credentials. Okay. So right now I am just logging in into a SharePoint portal that was installed along with the uh, Team Foundation Server 2010 installation. I am using uh, Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 20 2007 for this integration. So first thing that you can see here, let's just scroll a little bit to the right side. Here you can see uh, the different uh, project work items that are um, uh, have been worked recently into the in the project. So you can see that there has been seven reported bugs, while seven were closed, ten tasks, six text, test cases, and three user stories. Okay. Um, here you can also see the status of the recent builds. You remember in last video we talked about making builds? Well, here you can see the status of recent builds. So if you have regular builds, anytime you enter here, you can quickly see the status of the latest builds. You can see this one is, is green, succeeded. This one partially succeeded, this one failed, and this one succeeded again. Over here you can see the recent check-ins that the development team has performed and the different comments that they entered for each of these check-ins. Okay, in the in the center of this screen, we are seeing several dashboards that come with uh, Team Foundation Server 2010 and Office SharePoint Server 27, 27. Sorry, 2007. So here you can see, for example, the task bur burn down, which is a very uh, common. Um, dashboard in many agile methods which shows the remaining work and the trend of the work that is being done at the moment so okay so just keep uh, remember that this is not a, a real project what I am uh, tracking in this dashboard right now is just the, the sum of different samples that I have performed so maybe it, this is not the, the best example but here you can see the remaining work that uh, it, which is the, the sum of the different the different tasks that the team has still yet to perform, which you can see in the, in the blue area. And if you would see the, a green area, that will be the completed work. And in this black um, this black line is the ideal trend, which means when would we ideally finish uh, completing the tasks? Okay. Over here, you can see the task progress. The task progress shows you how much tasks are still uh, active, which are the blue ones, and how much of, of them are already closed, which is the, the green portion. Okay. Over here, you can see the user story progress, which means how much of the user stories are still active. In this one, you can see the seven issue trend dates. Okay, so. This uh, shows you the. This is related to bugs, which means that, for example, the blue the blue line 
is the the day uh, the the sum of the different um, box that has arrived and when they arrived when were they detected the yellow one is the the box that were resolved and the green ones are the box that are have already been closed by the testing team over here if there were any issues in the recorded in the project you would see them over here okay now this is just one of the possible dashboards that you can access if you want to see more dashboards just go to left side left side of the of the portal for example let's click on quality you can see these are there are more reports loading here remember all this information is coming from the SQL server analysis services databases that um, that are also installed with Team Foundation Server 2010 and that are all the time tracking the progress of the of the team. So, for example, in this one you can see the build status, okay, of the latest builds. Okay, so for example, you can see this uh, red or pink portion is related to the failed builds in the yesterday, which would be 16 January, which was yesterday. The green one are the, the builds that, are, that partially succeeded, and the, this purple one is the ones that actually succeeded. Okay, and same, same you can see for the oral days. Over here you can see the bug progress, where the blue one, the blue area are the active bugs, the green area are the closed bugs, and if there was there was any yellow, that would be the resolved bugs. You can see bugs reactivations over here, which there's no one at the moment. Code coverage, if you enable code coverage in Visual Studio, you can also see the code coverage percentage over here. You know it's always good to have a very high code coverage in your code. And over here, the code churn shows you how much lines of code has been added uh, in different days of the project. Okay, and this same way you can keep checking the different dashboards that are coming with Team Foundation Server 2010. Okay, you can see this has the test one, the box ones. You can see testing. Okay, they're just loading. Can take a, a little while sometimes. You can see the builds. Well, there's a lot of, of dashboards that you can see here. Another way to take a look at the progress of the project is going to the reports section over here. This is actually redirecting us to the reporting services, SQL Server reporting services uh, portal that is also uh, extracting information from the analysis services database. So, for example, if we go to project management, you can see there are several reports already prepared for you to take a look. Let's go to burn down and burn rate. So the nice thing about uh, this other uh, reporting services portal is that these reports are uh, configurable, which which means that you can enter parameters. Like for example, here, you could you sh you will be able to select the iteration, the work item type that you want to see, how you want to measure stuff, iteration end. I mean iteration start, iteration end, the area the state of the of the items and the and the trend line that you want to see and these reports are usually a little bit more uh, detailed you know you see a, a nice explanation here of what are we looking at you can see here the uh, a similar report that we saw in the dashboard but a little bit more big and more explained here okay you can see additional additional graphs over here the bond rate Okay, and the assignment of, of, of work in the project. So this is like a little bit more detailed. Let's take a look, for example, remaining work. Okay. And well, this way you can always keep track of, of your project. So remember you have all this information all the time. Just keep uh, any every work item updated and you will always be able to track your team's project your team's uh, progress actually. Okay, so well, thank you very much and I will see you again. Good luck.